because there's a lot, there's so much to talk about. Um, more importantly, anybody who has had anything to do with the loss of Ghana wouldn't have succeeded um, if they never read anything about to four versus attorney general and this is the man we are going to um, have a chat with today so thanks again for your time look how have you been oh by his grace i'm fine and i thank you very much for his kindness and mercies where tell us who is kwami amwako to four who a very complicated person <laughs> not but so the complicated. least complicated is that I give everything to the Almighty mm. for whatever He's made me to be and whoever I am. Amen. So that's the first and foremost. I that's nearly didn't means. even go to school. Wow, wow. Uh, my mother used me as a, her cashier. Mm -hmm. I used to go around with her trading. So where were you born? When were where where Kumasi? Kumasi. Uh, Kumasi uh, Ashtown. Uh, Greater Kumasi. Ashtown. <laughs> Ashanti Newtown. Yes. Ashanti Newtown. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Those days when you say Ashtown, it means a lot of things. Now it's That's changed. where everything was happening. Exactly. Wow. So you were just, you, 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 you bought that in Broome, right? Yes. Broome, yes. Where all the, the big yeah. guys used to Yes. Live. I was on uh, Kotoko Street, mm -hmm. which was uh, a stone throw to Buffalo Kotos place where yes. the action troopers mm -hmm. were for the national liberation movement at which age did you enter uh, formal education oh i think i was about five years okay, uh, okay. thereabouts mm -hmm. but i uh, was too little so uh, mm -hmm. the headmaster or head teacher they didn't want to admit me uh, those were days that they used size and then, as and you, then you put your hand around your, your, your yes, shoulder yes, and yes, then yes, it wasn't touching the other wow years, that so. was very intelligent of them then mm -hmm. i think looking yes. 50 years back that's for right. somebody to qualify to enter school you should be able to do this yes because you, like your, all your, of us will feel your date of birth wasn't very well recorded those days oh okay either you were born in a government hospital somebody forgot to list your name Mm -hmm. You see, and at times, when you are, you are born today, you are not properly named. Named, okay. You see, there will be a naming ceremony about a week, two weeks. Mm -hmm. That's when they will call you Kwame Amwako. Oh, so... But they, they may write your mother's name there or whatever. Mm -hmm. So if it is not very well captured... And that's it. Date okay. of birth is gone. You, you estimate wow. it by different people's age and all that. I know, I know. So your early years, which school did you start with? Methodist Primary at KO, that is uh, Ashtown KO, is near the Central Market. Mm -hmm. The main Freeman, uh, Methodist Freeman School, that is the main Methodist School in Kumasi at the time. Okay. There were other branches, but okay. that is the key so one. So you did uh, class one through to which level? Um, I started with class two, okay. primary two, and then I was jumped from primary three to primary five. Mm -hmm. And then I left the primary school after primary six. And then to middle school at Quendi Yadom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at Quendi Yadom. Yes. Still at Ashtown. Still at Ashtown. Mm. So Charlie, you were just the mayor of Ashtown. Because well, there was so uh, much activity. Yes. Overlooking the Kumasi Jum as well. Yes, mm. yes, but you, you, you need to put your act together. I was blessed to have a, a woman, mother, who was very strict mm. and wouldn't want you to bend her rules. Yeah, yeah. Go and have a, a haircut. She tells you once, you don't do it. The second one, when you are asleep, she comes with a pair of scissors and just zooms through your hair <laughs> so the next day you go and do it you discipline well, you rise people today already yeah. okay so quick one so from middle school you went to secondary school which school achibota school mm -hmm. you want ah. to know why i chose achibota it, exactly the question i was going to ask i had to fill my forms yourself oh yeah and uh 
In looking at the schools, I decided um, first, when, uh, Achimota was the only one that head off because of Achimota sandals. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I chose Achimota school. Oh, man. Because it was the most popular on the list. <laughs> more time people should hear this. So, <laughs> no, no, doctor says that he chose Achimota school because it was familiar because of Achimota sandals. If for the younger people, they don't even know what Achimosa Sandals They don't know is. what Achimosa Sandals <laughs> And when I got to the school, I was so short, little, they gave me a female shoe. Oh, when your feet are small, they give you the girl's shoes. And then so the much. boys start laughing at you. <laughs> so I got a female Achimosa Sandals. Wow. Till wow. the next term, I'd been laughed at, you know. So wow. I realized that when you have graphic, and you put it into the shoes. Uh, you, you know, know it, can, it extends the front. So I know. went and the ma matron said, no, you, you can't wear uh, the bigger one to come off your feet. I said, you are not going to wear it. You give it to me. So I went and put newspaper in and I could walk straight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, actually water sandals, they're kind of uh, prescribed sandals for schools. Uh, typically, they were brown in color. Um, with made some, by Bata. Yeah, made by Bata shoes at the time. Yes. Um, and later, I think later, Kumasi Shoe Factory started producing a, a lot, lot of, of them. people of them. Um, yeah. and, and, and we all had to wear Achimota sandals. And they were very good, I must say. Yes. And there was one with leather sole and one with rubber sole. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. No, you lived their life. <laughs> 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 so, so Achimota School, you were there for how long? Up to form five, mm -hmm. and I changed to go to Prepper College because there was too much discipline in Achimota. Oh, you wanted to live life proper? No, I wanted to also find out that time Prempe was coming up. up. Yeah. And I liked the, uh, some the of the students coming from there Friends and all that. that. And then it's in Kumasi. So, so some of your own friends influenced you into yes, yes. the choice of oh, uh, yes. Prempe set yes, form. Yes. Mm, which year would this be? This was 61. Mm -hmm. So you went to Achmota. Do you remember some of your own mates? Achmota school? Yeah, who are still in, you know, okay. or who are in public uh, life. One that you all know is Professor John Evans Atamels. Oh, President of the Republic of Ghana. He was my classmate. Oh, he was Entered a from one same classroom together. Wow, wow. The other person around that you may also know is uh, Osafu Mafu. Oh, nice. He was older than us. Uh, he probably did some few skirmishes before coming to second. Oh, school. okay. So he's still older than you then? Oh, or, definitely. Or now you are the same age? Uh, no, no. <laughs> well, now we're the same page, but... Uh, then he so had, he had come from a Wisa. Yes, he came from Ewisa. Jesus. And they had, from Ewisa uh, to Achimota. Yes. Then Jesus there is Christ. Uh, Kobna Kwansan, who was uh, um, a managing Barclays director Bank. of Barclays. Barclays yes, Bank, yes. yes. A whole host of oh, yeah. different chairs, uh, yeah. uh, people, you know. Um, I can go on and on. Yeah. You know, but now, what were what some of your fondest memories in Achimota School? Oh, uh, so I like the classical music, mm -hmm. you know, uh, they teach you a lot of the uh, classical things, good hymns, discipline, mm. over discipline at the time. You mean a lot more than was required? A lot more than that. Now, <laughs> one of my fondest uh, memories was about when I was going to the secondary school, you fill forms. Is your father a farmer? I was failing on. So I said, hmm. these people, they think, I uh, should say my father is a farmer. So, so he's a push man. <laughs> and my father was a farmer. And I didn't write farmer. You see, I said no. Then I went on and on and on. So when the results came, if your father, father was a farmer, a special cocoa farmer, you get full scholarship. Jesus. 
and I had failed that my father wasn't a farmer. So I was giving government scholarship, I think one third, or that's what they were giving. And my mother was looking after me. God bless her soul. Wow. You know, when I see women, especially when they are tough, I love them because mm. my mother decided she was going to look after me. And I remember her shop. We had a beer bar and all that going down because of paying school fees. Every school. So I went to one of my teachers called Reverend Setze. He taught us religion, Bible studies, religious knowledge. I told him that I made that mistake by not saying my father was a farmer and all that. I said, write a letter. We'll go and give it to the headmaster. So I wrote the letter and I addressed it to him. Reverend Father, his name was Se Se. Then I wrote Te Te, T S E T S E. Not knowing that in his olden days people were teasing him at Set a Fly. Ooh. The man saw it and said, Damn you! <laughs> You two, you are calling me. Said, <laughs> well, how did you get the name from? It was just a mistake. And that was it. The man shouted at me. I broke down crying. I said, I beg you. I went down on my knees, held him. You know, foolish boy. Oh. Then he stood there the way I cried. Get up. I got up. So what do you want to say for yourself? I said, you are a father. You are closer to God. You should forgive me. <laughs> he looked at me. So what did you say? I said, it was a genuine mistake. Please forgive me. The main problem is ID scholarship. My mother cannot take care of it. So each, he, he went ahead and did it. But each time he saw me, he looked at me gazingly. Wow. So before I left the school, he called me. So there's something in you that I like. You faced me. You had made a very bad mistake, but you apologized, but you faced me. And I was very sorry all this time. So I want to apologize to you. And he did. Mm. Wow. So he was never my enemy, but we became good. friends. That's good. So that Better was that friends, yes. school. You remember the school old? That's what our school old. Old? Yeah, the song. The, the, the song anthem. You want me to sing? You won't like it. Please, no, I no, beg no, you. Just a few lines. I mean, that connects to all the Achimota people. We have glorious cuisinic. Mm hmm. Glorious have, cuisinic. That and then uh, the you, other you, one. You know about that? You, you are an Achimota? No, I am not. From from Gambaga to Accra, from Uyasu to Keta, we are brothers and our sisters. It's not school. You see, that's another one. <laughs> that's the more popular one. Yes. Good. So it means that you have registered an Accra, as you oh, say. Oh, definitely. Good. So from there, we went to Prempe. Uh, Prempe College. Two years. Two years. How was the experience? The first shock I had was that before, because I came from Achimota, I must know games, everything about sports. Because Achimota was known for. popular, known for this. So they put me in the soccer uh, thing, you know. Now, <laughs> I mean, I couldn't kick, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> he comes and then we ah, now I'm going with Achimota. No, so finally, they removed him from the team. <laughs> then it came to house athletics. They, no, they, they have house plays that you go and set up a play for the whole school from house to house. And this particular house master, we nicknamed him Kwame Kotre. Mm -hmm. I went and met the school, the name. He said, I looked like a woman, so I should be dressed in women's clothes in the play. And here was I, lower six. With all the little boys and all that, 
<laughs> Later I took a picture. I looked like a woman though at that time. <laughs> Good. But those are some of them. Mm -hmm. Who are some of your mates there too? Um, most of them did medicine afterwards. Uh, but the most significant one at that time is Samuel E. Japon, Professor E. Japon, yeah. who became the Vice, Vice Chancellor, Chancellor of, of Cape Coast. the University of Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was my mate. So that's, that's the account of your early years yes. um, up to um, end of secondary education, properly so-called at the time. So if you just tune in, I have been speaking with Dr. Kwame Amwakotofo. We've just completed Prempe College. We'll be right back and then talk about his 